Grown man business. All right, we got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. College football, baby. College football. It is here. Oh, man. Houston just upset Oklahoma. And I'm not going to consider it an upset because Houston is a quality team. They are here and they're for real. We forgot how they beat the brakes off of Florida State in the bowl game last year, last season, at the end of the season. Um, Oklahoma is rebuilding. A lot of the players are young still. Um, we've seen that when they played against, uh, who they played against? Uh, was it Alabama last year? Yeah, I believe it was Alabama in the bowl game, in the playoffs. Uh, they still young. They still growing. Uh, but Houston's for real, baby. They are for real. I like how this team is playing. They have defense. They have a, a, a high-flying, fast-paced offense. They are all a well-rounded, all-around team, man. And uh, for college football, they're going to be a problem this year. Uh, I like to see their opponents each week. I like to see them play some quality teams. Uh, the, new, the new head coach, man, what's his name? Tom Herman came from uh, Ohio State. Uh, he was an offensive coordinator. He's for real, man. He's a good coach. I was uh, I was hoping that we had got him when he was available. But, you know, he went to Houston, and we got a legendary coach, Mark Rick. So that's, you know, that's just as good, if not better. But uh, Tom Herman is, is uh, he need to be in that conversation, man. The Urban Myers and uh, 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 the Mark Ritz, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Seriously, you know, he's not a pushover. He's, he's a young coach. So everybody's really like overlooking him right now. But they are starting this year. He he will be noticed. They are taking notice. Um, Houston's the team I'm, I'm looking out for this year as far as college. I like to see what's, what Michigan's going to do. Uh, you know, of course, my Miami Hurricanes. I can't wait to see how we, we are this year. Each week is going to be exciting. I'm going to talk so much trash. Uh, I'm, I'm in your face, Florida State Seminoles, Florida State Seminoles fans. I'm in your face. We're not worrying about Florida right now. Florida's not even a threat. Florida's not even in our, our rear view mirror right now. You know what I mean? But it will be next year. Uh, we on the hills, man. We on the hills of everybody, man. Alabama. I want to come. I want to go after the best. The best of the best. Alabama, LSU. LSU is getting ready to play Wisconsin. They in Lambeau Field. I hope uh, my boy uh, Fournette, Leonard Fournette, does the Lambo leap. The college coaches are trying to hate and throw salt on that. You can't play in a Lambo field and can't and, and don't do the Lambo leap, man. It's tradition. You know we know um, the flood that happened out there in Louisiana, Baton Rouge. You know all the uh, adversity that uh, the college and the the, the the, the locals, the city, the state is going through for like, you know, LSU and, and everybody else, man. I like what they're doing with the community. And I like to send my love and support, man, and prayers to everyone out there. We haven't forgot about y'all. I know I haven't talked about it much. Uh, so much going on. But, hey, y'all still in my prayers, baby. And, uh, you know, the state of Louisiana is a great state, man. I love it, man. Uh, like I told everyone, I'm an environmental engineer. Uh, I've been an environmental engineer for 15 years plus. Uh, my first major disaster was Hurricane Katrina. Katrina. My first major project that I did was Hurricane Katrina. You know, I did a lot of projects, small projects before that, prior to that. But uh, that was my first major worldwide part of history type pro uh, project, man. And I would never forget the things I've seen out there. And my heart goes out to everyone because I understand and I know. What's, what's going on and what y'all going through, man. So stay strong. Uh, LSU against Wisconsin. It's a great. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great season for LSU. I think they're going to bounce back. They started off on fire the first six games of the season last year, and they just fell off. Uh, Leonard Fournette was of uh, other talks, uh, talks of being um, the Heisman Trophy winner. You know, he was a candidate. He was, he was in the conversation of being a candidate. But it was really saying that he was going to be the Heisman Trophy winner uh, in the beginning of the season. By the end of the season, he wasn't even in the conversation. He kind of withered away. 
disappeared. Uh, the whole team kind of fell apart, had a meltdown. I think they're going to bounce back strong. Uh, I can't wait to see how uh, Clemson's going to do this year. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, we saw McCaffrey la last night with uh, Stanford. You know, all these guys are Heisman Trophy candidates, man, that we are talking about. I think uh, Leonard Fournette will make it uh, make it to New York for the um, <laughs> for the Heisman ceremony. Uh, I think it would be out of him or McCaffrey this year. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna give uh, I'm not gonna give my predictions yet. You know what? I'm gonna do it, man. I think McCaffrey gonna get it this year. The guy's incredible, man. He's a dynamic player. But uh, I won't be mad. I won't be upset if Leonard um, Fournette gets it. Uh, and, and Deshaun Watson, hey, if he win it, he deserve it, man. He, I believe he's like the best quarterback in college today, right now. So uh, tell me what y'all think, man. I can't wait to see how Michigan's going to play this year. Uh, LSU. Uh, hey, I'm interested in Alabama, too, man, because, you know, they, they, they work with a lot of new players. Uh, quarterback, you know, it's a new quarterback. Ohio State, I'm interested to see how they're going to play because Ohio State is the youngest team right now in college football. You know, they lost a lot of guys to the draft last year, and and they starting off fresh again. So it's going to be interesting, man, how they're going to bounce back. They beat up on whoever that was, Bowling Green. They beat up on them. It was like, it was like 53 to, to 10 or something last time I saw it. But, uh, yeah, quality teams, baby. But, uh Tell me what y'all think, man. It was an upset. I'm not calling it upset, but people are going to consider it an upset because Houston really is not in the conversation. But Houston's going to be in the conversation this year. They're going to have a big year. They're going to be a problem to a lot of teams this year. Houston just beat Oklahoma 33-23, to baby. Give me your opinion. Tell me what you think, man. College football's here, baby. What's my slogan? Grown man business.